Ok, guys. Me faltan unos cuantos todavía que están en los breakout rooms. Permítanme. Entré a todos los breakout rooms. Creo que solo me hizo falta uno. And I could hear. La verdad que pude escuchar que la mayoría pues estaba ayudándose unos a otros. And I really like that. ¿Verdad? Eh, escuché ahí también que estábamos con yes, I have, no, I haven't. Estaban haciendo las preguntas. Eh, también estaban como compartiendo eh, ideas. And I really liked it. La verdad es que estuvo, estuvo muy bien, chicos, su participación en los breakout rooms. Los felicito súper bien. Ok. Entonces vamos a continuar acá, ¿verdad? Con eh, la siguiente parte, ¿ok? Esto pues fue lo que vimos el día de ayer, ¿verdad? El uso de present perfect y el uso de simple past. Y decíamos de que la diferencia entre uno y el otro, ¿verdad? De que si vamos a usar uno, eh, we use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past, ¿verdad? Y que we use simple past for specific events in past. Prácticamente para diferenciarlos decíamos que usamos el presente perfecto para acciones que comienzan en el pasado y que tienen conexión con el presente o que continúan en el presente, pero que el pasado simple solo lo usamos para eventos o actividades que ya pasaron, que ya no son parte de mi presente y que han sido completadas en el pasado. Eh, luego pues llenamos este ejercicio. Ups, perdón. Y es el mismo ejercicio que ustedes tienen en el 5.9, ¿verdad? Con el Knowledge Check. Este, luego, eh, tenemos la parte de Since and For, ¿verdad? In this session, the use of For and Since will be explained throughout an audio. Note the expressions, ¿verdad? Eh, for and Since, guys. For and Since are eh, very important. And be careful with the pronunciation. It's Since, ¿verdad? No es Science. Or science, dicen por ahí, pero science es ciencia. Since es desde, ¿verdad? How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I lived here for six months. I love it here. I lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Letter C, complete these sentences with four or since. One Pam was in Central America. Okay, what do you think, guys? Is it for or since? For. For. Dice, mm -hmm. uh, Pam was in Central America for a month last year. Muy bien. Number two, I've been a college student. A college student, I'm sorry. Four. For almost four years, he said. Three, Hiroshi has been at work. Six. Since 6 a.m., right? Okay. Four, I haven't gone to a party. Four. For a long time, right? Josh lived in Venezuela. Four. Four, four, four two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation. Since. Since, right, since Monday. Muy bien. Seven, Natalie was engaged to Danny. Me, disculpe que le interrumpa, pero... Sí. Me voy a tener que retirar de la clase porque la señal me está fallando. Ahí va a disculpar, porfa. No, no hay problema. Tranquila. Thank you. Then number eh, six. My parents had been on vacation. Can you hear me? Ah, okay, okay. So my parents have been on vacation since or for? Since Monday. Since Monday, right? Seven. Natalie was engaged to Danny. 
For six for months. Six months. And number eight, Pat and Valeria have been best friends. For or since? For me. For. For. Mm. Actually, no. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. Desde bachillerato, ¿verdad? Since high school. So these are two different, you know, expressions, right? And again, remember, yo voy a usar for cuando voy a expresar una cantidad de tiempo. Y uso since expresando un punto de partida, ya sea de tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, horas, minutos, mes, etc. ¿Verdad? Entonces, así es como encuentro yo la diferencia que me ayuda a mí, ¿verdad? Let's see over here. Here you have some examples, right? How long did you live in, oh, no, perdón, acá, expressions with four? For two weeks, for a few months, for several years, for a long time, right? Expressions with since, since 6.45. Since last weekend, since 1997, since elementary school. Okay, so those are the different expressions that we have. And it ask you here, you look, how long have you had your current hair, hairstyle? How long have you had your current hairstyle? Desde cuando has tenido tu estilo de cabello? Okay, we can answer something like this. Vamos a, a responder algo así. Miren, la pregunta es how. How long have you? How long have you had your current hairstyle? When in, in my case, verdad? In my case, I changed my hairstyle. Uh, I went from mid length, right, uh, of hair, to short, very short hair. And now to kind of a mid-length again, right? So I had, I have had my hairstyle, oops, style for two weeks, okay? I have had my hairstyle for two weeks, okay? Take a look at the next question, right? How long have you studied at this school? Vamos a mover esto acá. How long have you studied at this school? How long have you studied at this school? When? En este caso puede ser inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? How long have you studied English? Pongámosla acá, ¿verdad? Para que lo dejemos así. How long have you studied English? ¿Cuánto tiempo has estudiado inglés? You can say, I have studied English for five years, digamos, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? For five years. Okay. Y le voy a dar las dos opciones. Ya se lo voy a poner la siguiente. Bye. Luego tenemos acá la siguiente es, how long have you known your best friend? How long have you known your best friend. ¿Por cuánto tiempo has conocido a tu mejor amigo o amiga? ¿Verdad? You say, I have known her. En mi caso es amiga. I have known her, right? Eh, for, let me see. For how long? That was back in 2000. I think 2000. Two thousand two. That will be twenty twenty three minus twenty twenty. Twenty. Twenty one years. Actually, I have known her for twenty one years. Increíble, no puedo creerlo. <laughs> okay, then uh, how long have you been awake today? How long have you been? Awake today. I have been awake 
four. Let me see, 12. It's almost nine, okay? 12, 18 hours. I have been awake for 18 hours. Sí, increíble, pero for 18 hours. Ok, entonces, esa es cuando yo expreso, miren, la cantidad de tiempo. For two weeks, for five years, for 21 years, for 18 hours. Pero, ¿qué sucede cuando yo quiero usar since? Porque sí puedo, ¿verdad? Yo puedo decir, I have had my hairstyle. Since eh, Monday, ¿verdad? Desde el lunes, digamos, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo. Eh, how long have you studied English? I have studied English, digamos acá, since, un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Since, night, uh, since 20, 2019, ¿verdad? Since 2019. Ok. Uh, how long have you known your best friend? I have known her since high school. Okay, en mi caso, ¿verdad? Since high school. Okay. Okay, I have known her since high school or since 2021, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué más tenemos acá? How long have you been awake? Today, I have been awake since 4 a.m. in the morning, ok? Entonces, tienen las dos opciones. Cuando usted usa since, es el punto de partida del tiempo, ¿verdad? El que usted está comenzando a hablar. Ok, since Monday, since 2019, since high school, since 4 a.m., uno es de este y el otro es por esta cantidad de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si hay preguntas sobre cómo usar since and for. Preguntas de cómo usar since and for. No. No, means it's clear. Bye, perfect. Then over here, right after this part. It asks you to complete um, a knowledge check, right? Which is a, uh, the one uh, that you can find in 5.12. Pretty much what you have to do is to select either or, right? Any of those two options. You can select for or you can select scenes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so we have here this 5.12 exercise, right? And then uh, after this, we're going to move to another topic, but we're going to um, talk about it uh, tomorrow, which is the uh, pronunciation in the sound order by linking the final T and D. Right, which are sounds that we can, you know, find whenever we encounter, we, we find, I'm sorry, um, the beginning of a vowel sound, ¿verdad? Un sonido de vocal, iniciando sonido de vocal, terminando un sonido consonante. ¿Qué hacemos cuando las unimos, verdad? So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Bueno, I'm going to pass the attendance, solo déjeme abrirlo acá desde el teléfono, por favor, de mi momentito. Vaya, de los que no me contestaron, David Enrique. No está. Eh, David Enrique. 
Edgar Mauricio. Present teacher. Edwin Orlando. No vino Edwin Orlando. Fernando José. Jenny Elizabeth. Jenny Elizabeth. Sandra Elizabeth. Present teacher. Gracias. Bueno, chicos, ahí está. Ya les pasé la asistencia. Thank you very much for joining, guys. I'm so sorry for all the inconvenience today. Um, but I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Primero, pues, primeramente Dios. Mañana sí hay internet y todas las cosas estén mejor, ¿verdad? Así que thank you for joining and I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.